What's up, my Nicaraguans? It's me again, General Montana. In yet another trial of allegiance, wild ride. I have gotten back on my grind here on YouTube. So if you missed any of videos that I recently posted, go and check them out because I got a comments saying that they totally missed it. If you don't want to miss any videos, join my Discord because I ping everyone when new video releases. I don't fucking know how the YouTube algorithm works anymore so not being able to upload for a while killed this shit but it is what it is also first four people have won the dlc giveaways on my previous videos and i'm running again another giveaway for two new dlcs all you got to do is subscribe verify it on gleam.io and there will be also other ways to enter and don't forget to like the video and tell me in the comments what are the countries or mods you want to see me play on the channel ah yes uruguay the Albania of South America. Or more like if Paraguay is Slovakia of South America, then Uruguay is just like Slovenia. Anyway, we are the ones who make banger toasters apparently. And I get to say that this Focus 3 is just overpowered as fuck and we will go through it and you will see. Like this part is the same as for Paraguay but don't mind if I do 35 day military factory. And for some reason we are going to spend our whole national budget on researching some fucking planes. I will show you all how to expand this little nation without any major consequences. Getting three military factories in 105 days is such a good deal. But yeah, we have some dicking around to do with Terra. Well, I don't think that we are that dictatorial when we are giving women the right to vote. I'm just doing it for the stability and for them to stop yapping. And you know, I really love these advices because we have so many of them, a lot to choose from and this guy just casually gives you 2% record of a population. I haven't researched anything other than shit for planes. I really fucking hate the plane design and all bullshit surrounding it. I promise we will soon make a banger air force out of this. We will just need this little bullshit to do some little trolling. It's time that we commit suicide, I mean success. Now before we invade Brazil I'll make sure that we build few more planes cause I think we will be then able to beat them easily and now i feel like we should be good to invade it's because paratroopers will get you anywhere and yeah we just need to sacrifice few people for our victory here and there and when they leave this city we just want to paradrop in and then call it a day yes we are one step closer to domination and this is how you join a province from brazil i'm just trying to process the brazilian government's thinking here like they took one city oh shit we need to peace out they are too powerful. Uruguay has left the dark ages, now we have free reset slots. It is time for us to put our foot down and say fuck you Soviet Union and all other commies, we are embargoing you. Like it's even questionable if they find out. Now we want to do the same thing with Argentina and I will show you how you can get this formable nation very easily. Firstly we need to drop into Santa Fe and then we really quickly want to take control of Mesopotamia and when we dropped in we got control and then boom, before we peace out, we form this little nation. And then we just enjoy our whole fucking conquest. Also, this looks like a trans flag, so Uruguay is not beating your gay allegations anytime soon. And we have caught the ancient lands of Middle Eastern, South African Mesopotamia, the cradle of human civilization. And we can just say that that Franco guy over in Spain is kinda neat, I guess. And when real recognizes the real, it will allow us to just get 2% recreative population just like that without turning fascism or anything. Now we have here a little election that should have been in April but whatever. We will pick the national party and we are back to being Uruguay but we got a fucking cool flag with a guy that looks like a walrus. Trolley the new president moment. Bro is even writing an event about himself and hey don't mind me getting that traditionalism that just take away our research for armor and planes but I'm not complaining cause consumer goods are good and let's get big daddy USA on our side hoorah si senor 
and now let's get the most overpowered thing I have ever seen that will add anti-imperialism and this will also apply to democracy I think. Like declaring wars on anyone we want is perfect. I'll be very carefully looking at this meta because we need to expand if you want to make Uruguay even better. Now I'm not really sure about survivability of our country but it won't stop me from beefing with Malaysians. And before anyone notices that we are at war with them we need to really quickly transport all of our troops to Bordeaux and yes sir thank you very much. I'll make sure you don't have to escape to South America just yet. Like this is the most stressful journey my troops have to endure and what the fuck water Slovaks. The Jaguars have landed and it's time that we just invade Portsmouth if we are lucky. You know investing shit into our air force was kinda good move. And now we need to hope that we can get here before any British troops turn up. And it seems like that we are invading the Great Britain. Now we need just to know how effective of a force we will be. Seems like that there is a big division spam over here but I made some cavalry divisions because I don't have on trucks. So let's see if we can conquer this land. Seems like that the British are evacuating all of their ports and this might be good I guess. We have a very little army so I'm kinda cautious about what I'm about to do with everyone. This will be a micromanagement hellhole. And hey even the Germans saw how much fun I'm having here so they came to help. And that's right the British fear the Uruguayans. You know I'm kinda even impressed that I was able to make some little encirclements. Everything that helps us finish this war more quickly is good. Yes baby this is how you win with a small army. You just need to surprise everyone and come all over the place. Element of surprise is a powerful weapon believe me. Waiter, waiter, I have an encirclement inside my encirclement. We need to finish Britain as soon as possible because I'm fucking getting gallipolied over here. No worries Liverpool falls and everything is a-okay. We are every day one millimeter closer to victory. Buenos dias and welcome to Eurogosphere where this is the least cursed country you see. And you know we are honoring the Monroe doctrine so I was the only one to expand into America. And while we are still in Axis why not to conquer and take the whole Vichy France for ourselves. Oh I love me some wars without any major consequences. Oh, I love the smell of conquering France in the morning. That's right the British chaps are returning to tradition. I feel like it's time to re-enter our old ancestral homeland and conquer Spain. I mean I recognized Franco as a real one but he will be more real when he will be my puppet. Ah uh, this is the greatest re re reconquista ever. This country ravaged by civil war has never seen what Uruguayans are able to fucking do. Now as I have secured my little corner of the Europe it is time to say goodbye to Axis and it's time for Uruguay to join the true allies led by Ecuador because that's how this world works apparently. And yes this is how you do it baby. Uruguay and the whole Eurogosphere just joined. And hey why the fuck not to become democratic. We have Mr. Ferrari in charge so our country will go very fast and he exactly looks like my cousin. Anyway let's celebrate this victory with our anti-imperialist policy by attacking China because I think Chiang Kai-shek wanting to reunite the China that seems kinda imperialistic to me. Truly the opium war moment. But we will also get attacked by the Japanese very soon so uh, not very good for business. And you see the China is almost down and the Japanese haven't attacked us because they just need us to invade this land. You know as democratic nation that you can't puppet the country so you always have to go around it and boom you have a puppet. They are your little sweatshop now. I love me some Chinese republics. So um, this was pretty random I would say and I hope they don't join our faction. Yeah Comintern and the USA is now in our faction. So this is rather an interesting faction looking map and the Japanese have truly no chill they have declared war on my t-shirt sweatshop base. I'm kinda throwing my whole China under the bus but it's a valid military strategy if it ensures that the Japanese islands will be empty. Oh, I love me some Grand Tour de Japan. This is literally the great 
greatest shit ever. Like they just landed here and are not fucking ready for me. You know, capitulating Japan is most of the times that easy that I don't even need to bring my whole air force in. Just me walking through entire country. Now as you can see, Japan was nicely split into two occupation zones. Korean question got solved forever. And we have exiled Hirohito to Okinawa. So he can LARP here as Napoleon or something. Best thing on our country is that I can just invade people without any consequences happening to me. Which is just fucking beautiful. I said we will be taking Santa Fe at some point again. Hold on, hold on brother, what the fuck is Mao doing here? This is democratic China, communism is banned here. From participating in free elections. A new shitty development happened that the turf war from Europe spread it to South America as well. After we have liberated the brave Welsh Mujahideen fighters of South America, it is finally for us time to just join in and destroy the whole fucking Europe. Or quote unquote liberated with our Uruguayan strength. It is on your gay to solve every gay conflict in Europe. Uh, let me be clear, all of these people are fucking dead. I don't know how this black guy ended up in my army, but we are so black, I mean back, I mean barack. I got a little feeling that my naval blockade is kinda working I would say. Ayo hey, look at my German encirclement on top of a French penis. Oh no, reversed D-Day, what will the Germans do? Of course die, cause they don't have any other options left. Instead of defending it like normal people, the Italians have blown up the Suez Canal, fucking the shit up for years to come. Now an Israeli, Tibetan, Chinese, Hungarian, and an Austrian walk into a bar and create this motherfucker. So I don't know how this man came to be. But it's quite epic I would say. This French front just stopped so it is time for our D-Day here. And I have trained so many Chinese people for this operation. That it's not even funny. It is really time to liberate the whole fucking Europe. Victory is in the sea, victory is on the land, but in the air somehow Germans are able to support a big ass air force for some fucking reason. But anyway, the Uruguayan Chinese people are flooding the German Reich. And it doesn't seem like that we will be stopped anytime soon. Uruguay, numero fucking uno. Senoritas y senores, can I present to you the biggest axis encirclement that I have made in recent times. It is truly a horrible day to be a German in France. Feeling like the top tier war criminal right here over there over there send the word send the word over there now without the immense power of uruguay nothing of this shit would have been possible you know for all of this time bulgaria wasn't even in the axis this little kid could have just set the out the whole conflict but now we need to bomb his entire nation i'm sorry i'm the democratic nation i don't make the rules oh no they killed my mongolo chinese austrian hungarian israeli hybrid what the fuck will I do now? You can't even imagine how many Chinese people I have sacrificed for this victory. Empty border means free real estate for the greatest nation on earth. Now the true peace was restored in Europe. Just ignore Italians in Africa like what the fuck. Also true peace was restored in South America as well. I would even say that Africa is fucking beautiful. Bongo bongo you're going to Brazil Congo. And hey we can form nations and it will give us one operative slot so the CIA will be working against those commies 24-7. And why is Uruguay the most powerful democratic nation ever? Because we can invade Iraq scot-free for that sweet sweet oil. Just democracy working its way into Baghdad, taking away weapons of <coughs> mass destruction. And lastly, what we can do is to proclaim greater Uruguay. I have been waiting for this focus this whole time. By the way, King Pita is a real one for having a Habsburg puppet in Hungary. Hey, when will I have Oliver Nov as operative? Need to sell some shit into Iran. Greater Uruguay better than Greater Hungolia over in Europe. So hope y'all enjoyed me making this curse 
best Cold War scenario at the end. If you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, enter the giveaway and tell me in the comments what you all think. What should I play next? What path or mod? And as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razanon, Day2One Dude and Henning for being the highest channel members.